So I'm going to show you how to make a paper plate into a little crown for hat day. I'm going to start off with whatever paper plates you can find at your house if you got some. And I'm going to fold it in half. It's a circle so it should be folding nicely. I'm going to grab my scissors and I'm going to cut it right down the middle. Not all the way through. I'm going to stop right around the bump. It depends how big your head is really how far you want to cut. I'm then going to take one of those halves and I'm going to cut it in half again. So now I have two little triangle-like shapes over there. To this side, I'm going to cut that in half. So I've done three cuts now. Opening it up, I'm going to find those lines that were on the fold, and I'm going to cut each of those folded lines. Just that little curved part of the edge of the plate. We don't want to cut it all the way open. We still want that circle to be on the outside intact. Now I'm going to take whatever supplies that I've got and I'm going to add some decorations, whether that be crayons or markers or colored pencils. Um, I'm just going to add some color and kind of get creative with it. Uh, I like to do some patterns, so you'll kind of see me doing patterns with my crayons and my markers where I'm going to do red filled in rectangle. And then I'm leaving it blank for now. Now I'm going to go back in on those blank areas and I'm going to fill it in with a marker. Let's do a blue oval. So I'm doing like little gems. And I'm skipping a spot. So it's red, blank, red, blue oval. Red, blank, red, blue oval. And I ended kind of in an odd spot. That's okay. <gasps> Ooh, what if I fill it in with a diamond? So I'll do red, blue oval, purple diamond, red, red, blue, red, purple, red, red, blue, purple, red, red, blue, purple, red. Just like a nice pattern. When you got it all finished, you can maybe do some stuff on the inside too. It's a little bit harder to color because I've already cut it. So you could have colored this beforehand too. Um, but it's kind of your call. And once I'm happy with the color in the middle of here, um, there can be other details you can add. If you want to do polka dots, you can do that. My plate was a little bit dirty, so I wanted to do a ring kind of covering up some of the dirty spots. You gotta work with what you got. And now I want to do, I wanted to put some details on here that were kind of cut out. I found this wrapper from my cuties that I purchased from the grocery store last week. And I am going to cut it up to make little uh, gems so that they can kind of stick off the top. Uh, I would like maybe if I had some pom-poms or, um, I don't know, other stuff, but this is what I got, so I kind of cut it up and make it work. So I'm going to have a little cutie crown. I, of course, am using just dot dot, not a lot, on each little one to glue it on, or you can use tape or a glue stick or um, whatever you have to attach things. When you are all the way happy with how it looks, make sure you write your name on it. Now I wrote my name on this side with marker, then I kind of discovered it smudged off, so I did it with pencil instead, because sometimes these plates are kind of waxy. And here's what it looks like when it's finished on me, on my puppy, and on my baby Luca.